Hello everybody, I'm Bunny Williams, and I'd like to welcome you to our showroom on 59th Street in the Fine Arts Building in New York. I wish we could all welcome you together, and I wish we could be together, um, but as we are all going through this very, very difficult time, we have to give you a little bit of an introduction on film to our new collection that we've launched this fall. The collection, for a collection like this, it takes almost two years of development. Kyle Marshall, my creative director, and I start maybe two, two and a half years ago looking at images, thinking about the kinds of things that we'd like to make for a new launch. We don't design the collection in suites. We really look at each piece individually. I always think that I don't want anybody to put it all together. I want them to, I want to design things that people can use in their own house. Designers can put it together with other things that it's not, it's not a suite. It's nothing is designed um, really as a, a, a look. Each piece is designed individually. Um, we got inspired by all kinds of things, but one of the things that we really do work on is practical things, coffee tables, chairs, sofas, bedside tables, beds, things that everybody, every designer and everybody needs in their house. So we work on those things. Uh, my specialty, I think, is drinks tables, because I think everybody should be comfortable in, in their rooms. So in this group where I'm sitting on our new Grant sofa, which is very deep, very comfortable, wonderful for putting in front of the television or anywhere actually. And one of the things I like about it is that the back is not too high. So in a lower ceiling room, it's a great, great proportion. It has a nice wide arm and a one, one big seat cushion. So you could even lie down and take a nap. I think naps are very important. In front of this is a beautiful, our, one of our beautiful new coffee tables. And I've always been inspired by Chinese furniture. I think um, the Asian influences, though it's ancient in design, it also can be very, very contemporary. And this coffee table has a scroll on it that's a little bit more exaggerated than you might find in a, in a period Chinese table. It has a little bit more flair. And the finish is a wonderful, um, it's paint over linen, but very, very practical. You can put your glass down, you can put your feet on it. It's a very, very hard finish. And this neutral off-white would go in any room. Next to us, we have this wonderful stool. I like stools because I think that it gives you extra seating in a room. It can even have a tray on it for a table, but you can pull it up and um, somebody else can perch on it when there's a large group. And the carving and the detailing on this is really extraordinary. Um, it's very organic in a way, and this beautiful kind of washed, um, uh, pickled, uh, a piney finish, light finish. Again, it could be in a traditional room or a modern room. We have a new wonderful upholstered chair. Again, great proportion, great scale. The arm is thinner, so the inside of the chair is very ample, very comfortable for anyone to uh, sit in. On, at the end of our sofa is one of, another one of our drinks tables. Beautiful brass work uh, along with, with the polished wood surface. Our furniture tends to have a lot of wonderful detail, which I think is what's gonna make it last and, and stand the test of time and have a unique quality. And as I say, any of this furniture can go in any room that you want to create. One thing that everybody needs in this time, um, particularly if working at home, is a wonderful desk. And this is our new Alex desk, which is a wonderful red lacquer finish. We also do it in a blue lacquer finish with a, a tan leather top. And we designed these handles, which have also, they're wrapped in the leather. They're beautiful brass handles. Um, the legs and the stretchers are all brass. Um, and this is sort of like a beautiful red, cherry red uh, box sitting on a beautiful um, brass frame. I've always felt that it's so important in the furniture to really have 
every inch of it have quality. So one of the things, if you look at all of our pieces, that the inside is as pretty as the outside. And this is one of my favorite things, which is this um, a little area in the front of the drawer for the paper clips and the small things and your pens to try to keep your uh, desk neat. I always love this in, in, um, in, a, in a piece of furniture. And our new desk chair, which is so, so comfortable, um, was inspired by some mid-century English chairs. One of the things in buying antiques over the years is that I always found that the chairs that had the most comfortable seat had what, had what was called a saddle seat. And that means that the frame is slightly shaped. So this chair has a wonderful saddle seat, very, very simple. Could go in a very modern room or around an um, antique table. Very, again, a, a style that's incredibly versatile, but very, very comfortable and comfortable on your back when you're sitting for a long time. I'm sitting at our new dining table, the Leo dining table, which has a wonderful dark stained wood top and a beautiful base that is gunmetal and brass. Wonderful details with little brass balls on a uh, gunmetal frame. Dining tables are always a problem because everybody wants one that expands. So finally, we did one. Uh, this table seats um, six or eight people very comfortably at this size, and then it, it has a leaf that you just pull out and add to it that will extend the seating to 10 to 12. Um, I, everybody wants the f flexibility, and often, particularly if your dining living room goes together, you don't want too big a table in the room. Um, the table is set with our new launch of our kind of wonderful uh, cherry red china for Ballard. Um, they're mixed patterns, these wonderful bowl, a dinner plate, um, and a salad plate. All different patterns, but all work together with this uh, kind of beautiful red color, one of my favorite colors. Our cocktail napkins, our new cocktail napkins, and then we have our, our uh, glasses that I designed for Ballard as well as our flatware. All of this comes from my own personal collection. I happen to like flat bottom glasses a lot at the table. So this would be my water glass and this would be for wine. Um, and the flatware, um, I bought the originals in the flea market in Paris um, and we do it both in a silver finish and this verme finish. I'm standing next to our new uh, bed introduction. This is our Garbo bed, which comes in a king and a queen, and it's done with lucite posts. I had this idea for years of doing a lucite post bed, and Kyle had to do many, many researches to find somebody who could provide the posts, uh, the lucite posts. I love this bed because I think it's very glamorous. It's sort of Hollywood, so we call it the Garbo bed. Um, and it's very, it's simple, it can stay as is. It has a nice wooden headboard and a simple um, wood stretcher, but it can have a canopy and the headboard can be upholstered if some, someone wants to dress the, this bed in their own way. On the bed is, is one of our fake fur throws. These are really beautiful. They're lined in ultra suede. Um, and they're all, we have a dark blue one, we have a cheetah one, and we have this gray sort of ocelot one. I love them over foot of a bed or on a sofa, and I can tell you my dogs love them more than anything. This is, can't, they can't wait to snuggle into this uh, wonderful um, throw. They're, it has a wonderful pleated edge all around. And we also have a new bedside table. Um, it's a birch color, light color round table with a drawer. I think all bedside tables have to have a drawer. So this is very practical and it has some space below for books and magazines or things that, that you need next to your bed. We also this season have introduced more pattern uh, lampshades to go with our lamps. We have uh, two different patterns here, a yellow and a sort of brown and cream but um, it's always fun to have a pattern lampshade. It just changes the, the look of a lamp. I'm standing next to our new console table, the Laszlo console. Um, I always think it's so nice in an entrance hall or any place to have a really beautiful console table with a marble top. This one has this very pretty light sort of birch finish and these beautiful brass rings with little dots in between. 
it's a, one of these tables that can go in any direction. It can be contemporary, it can be used with traditional furniture. It just has a classic design that I think can go in any, any kind of house. And it has kind of a wow atm atmosphere. I mean, you kind of notice it. Um, the lamps on the table are two of our new um, launches. This beautiful blue uh, with this rib design and this wonderful glaze of uh, sort of a beautiful purpley and, and red overlay. All of our glazes are inspired by the ancient Chinese porcelain that we look at at the Metropolitan Museum and the glazes are, the shapes are simple, but the glazes are really, really unusual. Um, and again, two of our new pattern lamps, uh, lampshades. And then with the lamps, I love these carved, hand carved bases that give the lamp a really, a very, very luxurious um, quality to them. The mirror is um, done in a, a gold leaf and the panel is, is lapis blue lacquer with just flecks of gold. It's very celestial in a way, but the beautiful lacquer picks up the light, light um, as does the gold. It has kind of an ethereal um, quality to me. And next to the table are two pedestals that um, we design one in a wood finish and one in a painted white finish. I love pedestals in a room. I think it gives you, uh, for instance, even on either side of a console table, a place to put candle, put hurricanes, or put big jars or pieces of sculpture. And it, it, what's interesting is that it gives you different heights. You have a low ta lower table, the pedestal, and then it starts to work up to the height of the mirror. Um, we use, I use pedestals a lot. I use them in halls, I use them in dining rooms. Um, often when there's a narrow wall space between windows, you can have a pedestal with something really wonderful. These are absolutely beautifully carved. The sunburst, uh, rosette, um, the reading, the, the quality of these is really, really exciting. We're always trying to come up with new sofa designs. There's so many sofas on the market and there are many that all look alike, but we were very excited when we were able to develop this beautiful sofa called the Cora Sofa. It has this beautiful sweeping arm that comes down just a little bit to the top of the cushion, a straight back, it's quite deep and very, very comfortable. And then it looks so beautiful with this long fringe around the bottom. It could have a skirt, but I think the fringe adds an awful lot to, to the look of this sofa. Um, we have one of our, again, one of our throws on the back, the, the ocelot one with, with the red trim on it looks great thrown over, over the back. And if you have dogs, you can put it over the seat and then your uh, sofa is protected. Um, we also have a new end table. I'm adamant about the right height end tables. When you sit on the sofa, you want the lamp so that the light comes over your shoulder. You don't want them too low. Um, or too tall. So there's just this kind of perfect height, I think, that goes to uh, have a, um, t an end table. I call these end tables. It can be a bedside table, end table, but it works perfectly with the sofa. This one is beautiful metal work. It's gilded metal, incredible detail of the Greek key, the crisscross stretchers, and a wonderful uh, black marble top, which again would go in any room. Um, but it's just the detail of it. It's what we always try to have our furniture have interest so that you want to look at it over and over again. Uh, our lamps and our lampshades, again, we're always mixing up the shades with, with, the, with our um, ceramic lamps. This is our new Jian um, console table. This can be used in many ways. It can be a serving piece, it can be a front hall table. Um, again, it's that wonderful starting with that great shape of Chinese furniture, but with more, a more exaggerated uh, shape at the bottom. Um, the table is covered in linen and then has a paint finish, which, which is very, very practical. And as you can see, it makes a great drinks table, a bar table in a living room. The stretcher of this table is inspired by a bracelet John, that my husband John Rosselli gave me many years ago that I wear almost every day. And it's a twisted metal. And when we were designing this, I said, oh, let's do a twisted stretcher. So the tris twisted brass stretcher comes through and ends in this absolutely beautiful uh, starburst rosette on the side. 
it's, it's this whole thing of giving furniture, very simple furniture, a little bit of special detail that we try so hard to accomplish. We have a new um, standing, a, a candlestick lamp. I find these so useful because you want some light, but you don't want such a big lamp. So we have a, a series of new candlestick lamps coming out. So you can have a pair of these on a table or a chest of drawers, but I'm always looking for those. I'm always trying to find a candlestick and wire into a lamp. It's hard to do. So we designed uh, a new collection of them.